Hi, good morning once again. Welcome to my channel. And today our topic is solving quadratic equation by extracting the square root. We know that quadratic equation, it is an equation with a degree of 2 or an equation with a highest exponent of 2. Let's first have a recall about example of quadratic equation. x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Example of quadratic equation. So our exponent is 2. So that means it is in the form of quadratic. Another example, x squared is equal to 16. x squared is equal to 16. It, is a it has a degree of 2, therefore it is a quadratic. Now, how to solve quadratic equation by extracting the square root? We have the square root, so we will go to use the square root sign. Okay, let us try number one. A square is equal to 16. We're going to find the value of the variable. So, to remove the square, we need to extract that square root. So, get the square root. Get the square root. Therefore, the square root will be cancelled out. So a is equal to square root of 16, positive negative. My take is solving uh, extracting the square root. You must memorize at least the first 20 perfect square numbers. So what are those numbers? Let us write here. If you have 1 square, or 1 times 1, it will give you 1. 2 square, 4. 3 square, 9. 4 square, 16. 5 square, 25. 6 square, 25. 6 squared is 36, 7 squared, 49, 8 squared, 64, 9 squared, 81, 10 squared, 100, 11 squared, 121, 12 squared, 144. You must at least know or memorize up to 20 so that you can easily solve the equation. Let's proceed in example number 2. d squared minus 100 is equal to 0. We can transpose negative 100 on the right side. So we give us d squared is equal to 100. Now we can find the value of the variable. Get the square root. So D is equal to positive, negative. Square root of 100, 100 will give you 10. So that's it. Number 3. 2, Z square is equal to 50. We have 2 beside the variable, so we need to eliminate 2. So we divide by 2 by 2. That's allowed. So z squared is equal to 50 divided by 2, 25. Now we have the square root. Cancel the square. z is equal to Positive, negative, 25, and give you. 
For example, for b squared minus 225 is equal to 0. Can we divide by 4? Yes, we can. But first step, we need to transpose negative 225. So for b squared is equal to positive 220. Now, divide by 4. It's allowed. b squared is equal to 225 over 4. Get this square root. Cancel out. b is equal to positive negative. The square root of 225 is... 15 times 15. 15 over 2. So B is equal to positive negative 15 over 2. Let us proceed in example number 5. I will erase. Cancel the square by extracting the 
square root of the equation. Cancel. W plus 7 is equal to square root of 196. That's the negative. So let us find. Let's try 14 times 14. 4 times 4, 16. Number 1, 4 times 1. 4 plus 1, 5. 1 times 4, 1 times 1, 1 times 6. So, square root of 1 times 6 is 14. Transpose 7, the volume is equal to positive negative 14 minus 7. We have two values for y. So y sub 1 is the positive 14 minus 7. W sub 2, negative 14 minus 7. W sub 2 is 14 minus 7, give you 7. Negative 14 minus 7, negative 20. Let us try to check our answer in number 6. So if you substitute to the original 1 plus 7 squared is equal to uh, W7, 1, 9, 6. This is our original given. Let us try W sub 1. So substitute 7 plus 7 squared must be equal to 1, 9, 6. 7 plus 7, 14 squared is equal to 1, 9, 6. 40 square is 196 is equal to 196. So the answer is correct. W sub 2. W negative 21 plus 7 square is equal to 196. Negative 21 plus 7 give you negative 14 square is equal to 196. Negative 14 squared, that is negative 14 times negative 14. So 196 is equal to 196. So the answer is 4. Would you like to check number 5, whether the answer of x of 1 and x of 2 are correct? So let us try. The original given is x minus 4 is equal to 289 x minus 4 is equal to 289. Substitute, now we have a square. 21 minus 4 square is equal to 289. 21 minus 4 is 17 square is equal to 289. 17 times 17 or 70 squared, 289 is equal to 289. Also, we can try by negative 13. So, negative 13 minus 4 squared is equal to 289. Negative 13 minus 4, negative 17 squared is equal to 289. Negative 17 squared, 289 is equal to 280. So in checking our answer, if we're going to substitute the value, they must be the same. So if your answer is not the same, therefore, you have wrong in the process. So thank you, and I want you to answer these problems. I will give you three problems, then you need to practice. Again, practice makes perfect. So number one. Practice. Number one. X squared is equal to 169. Number two. 3y squared minus 147 is equal to 0. 
Number three, three x minus one square is equal to sixteen. So this is your assignment. In order for you to master exactly the square root, you need to solve for the value of x, then try to check whether your answer is correct. So thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something for today.